What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode of Moonshot Monday, not on a Monday. Today, we are talking about the payments company Square and how they could morph into becoming a crypto powerhouse and why I believe they are planting the seeds to eventually become the de facto Bitcoin or crypto wallet that we use for everyday payments for a cup of coffee. Now, a little bit of background on Bitcoin and Square. You know, Bitcoin and this theory of using Bitcoin as this new digitally native global currency has been something that has been talked about since the introduction of Bitcoin, but has been met with a lot of skepticism because on Bitcoin's network, the transactions are too costly and take too much time to be practical for small payments of, say, five US dollars of what you need to buy a cup of coffee. But what's so interesting is that the CEO of Square, a guy by the name of Jack Dorsey, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley, the founder and current CEO of Twitter, also the founder and current CEO of Square, has been incredibly bullish on Bitcoin and has said one day that he believes there will be a digitally native internet currency. He believes Bitcoin is the forerunner and one day we will use that forerunner to be buying cups of coffee every single day. Now, if most people said this, I wouldn't take it seriously, but here's why I think this is so important because Jack Dorsey literally runs Square, the payment company that facilitates payments at almost every single coffee shop and is growing and popularity as a payments ecosystem. So if you own the payments ecosystem for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of businesses, you have a pretty strong say on what type of payment methods those vendors can use. And Jack Dorsey is, you know, incredibly bullish on Bitcoin. He's been an investor in Bitcoin. He goes to conferences like Consensus um, and is always talking about the future of Bitcoin and why he's so excited about having this digitally native internet currency. Now, one other storyline that I want to tie into this, there's recently been talk of something called the Lightning Network. The Lightning Lightning Network is a sort of second layer protocol for Bitcoin that sits on top of Bitcoin's core network and is built specifically for very fast, rapid micro payments or transactions. And what makes the Lightning Network so exciting and have so much potential is that it's essentially a way to settle transactions without going on the main blockchain. And why this is so exciting, because settling things on the Lightning Network instead of the normal blockchain holds the promise of meaning really fast transactions for super low cost, meaning that one day it could actually be practical to use Bitcoin to buy a cup of coffee if you're doing it on the Lightning Network and this truly works out as it's promised. And so this is hugely exciting for Bitcoin. And I think one of the most exciting things happening in the crypto and, and Bitcoin space is the development of this open source Lightning protocol that has the potential to make Bitcoin so much more useful. And now how Square ties into this, which is so, so fascinating, and Jack Dorsey is Jack Dorsey is among a handful of very high profile Silicon Valley investors who are funding a company called Lightning Labs. Lightning Labs is actually a private startup, but they're building on top of the open source Lightning Protocol layer. So Jack Dorsey is literally putting his personal capital to develop the Lightning Network. And I believe he wants to eventually integrate this Lightning Network technology into Square's app so that it can facilitate crypto payments instead of using fiat currency within the Square merchant ecosystem. Why is this so important? Why is this such a big, huge opportunity? I want to highlight one part of Square quarterly letter, which I think is so fascinating and sums up probably half of what's going on in the payment space. Now, this shows that the revenue per transaction on Square's network that they take is about 2.93% or almost three cents of every dollar you spend when you swipe your card on a Square goes to just process that transaction. Now, Square only takes 1.08% of that 2.93% as a profit. More than half of that, about 1.8%, of the cost, 1.8 cents, every time you swipe your credit card in a Square machine is going to actually facilitate that payment. Square is literally paying that out to other payment processors. So my point being is that 1.8 cents here uh, that Square is paying for every time you swipe your card is exactly the opportunity they're gonna attack with Bitcoin and the Lightning Network. If Square can you know, facilitate transactions on the Lightning Network for let's say 1%, then that you know extra 0.8% of cost goes right to their their bottom line or they can pass that off as savings to their consumers or vendors. So this slide in a nutshell shows you that juicy margin that Square is trying to attack. And the reason why Square and other services like PayPal and Stripe and Shopify and everyone else in the online payment space is charging about 3% per transaction is because there's a huge backend infrastructure that's handling all of these transactions, you know, Visa, MasterCard, and all the even further backend stuff of the traditional financial institutions that goes on there. But in theory, Bitcoin and the Lightning Network could intermediate all of that 
and Square could be running its own Lightning Network node, I, I believe that's the terminology, and facilitating all their transactions there, but before settling very large amount of tons of transactions on the main Bitcoin blockchain. So um, I don't know if that makes too much sense, but my point here at a super high level here is Square has a huge opportunity to disrupt its back end business model and use crypto to facilitate its payments versus the traditional banking system. And what's even more exciting about this is if you take a look at Square's gross payment volume, how much people are spending on their platform in Q2 2018, it was $21.4 billion and growing at 30%. So if we assume that there's a you know 1% margin opportunity, if they can successfully implement the Lightning Network, 1% of 21.4 billion is already $210 million per quarter in potential excess profit that Square could generate by using the Lightning Network instead of something else on its back end. So I think there's a huge, huge opportunity here economically to incentivize Square to search for alternative payment methods. And so I think this all adds Adds up to in a couple years. I don't know when this happens. You know, I, I tried to get some research on how far the Lightning Network was in terms of progress and scaling. I did see that it looks like as of today, there was more than like a hundred Bitcoin um, on the Lightning Network, or the network capacity of the Lightning Network is more than a hundred Bitcoin. Um, so I'm going to be tracking this to see how it grows. I'd also be really curious to know if you have any tools um, of how you would track the growth or success um, or progress of the Lightning Network. So let me know in the comments below. But anyway, my theory is, and this is the moonshot of the episode is that Square is setting up behind the scenes to become, you know, a crypto payment app. And, you know, that we've already seen them do this with the Cash app, which is their app that's sort of like a Venmo competitor that is getting tremendous traction recently that has allowed you to buy and sell Bitcoin within the app. So, you know, they're clearly already experimenting with Bitcoin. Additionally, they have something like the Square credit card or Square Cash card that um, in June 2018, Cash app spent, Cash app customers spent $250 million with the Cash card, triple from December 2017, 3 billion on an annual basis. So Square's ecosystem has all these different type of levers to pull with they could implement this new payment technology. But my guess is in the future, when you go to your favorite coffee shop that uses Square and you swipe that card, you will be transacting in Bitcoin on the Lightning Network via Square's app. This will significantly boost their margins, change their whole business model, single-handedly pioneer you know, Bitcoin's popularity into the mainstream. If a company like Square starts implementing Bitcoin, it becomes almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. Then you have the best developers and engineers wanting to work on Bitcoin because they see the potential because they see Square's using it. And literally, it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy and I literally and I think that that's exactly what we're seeing happen with Jack Dorsey investing in Lightning Labs and literally building out the technology that he needs to make Bitcoin go mainstream and, and you know fulfill its grand vision of being the digital currency of the internet so um that is sort of my moonshot Monday here I'll do another episode with a full update of Squares Financials soon um, but I'm super bullish on this company I'm incredibly excited about their potential to you to leverage um, blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies to you know disrupt the payment ecosystem. I think no one's in a better place to do it than Square. I think the trust of their brand continues to skyrocket. They're viewed as an innovative, leader, trusted, secure payments company in the 21st century that I think is going to be a key, you know, sort of brand aura to leverage in the crypto space where there's a lack of trust. And so I just think there's so many opportunities for Square to leverage what they're doing now as a thing you swipe in your favorite coffee shop to eventually being the sort of bank of the future for all of us. That's what they're doing with Cash App. And I think crypto and the Lightning Network and Bitcoin is all going to be a part of that very, very soon. My only question is when. And even at a high level, this actually makes me incredibly bullish on Bitcoin, which, you know, the crypto ecosystem had that massive run up last year, has since pulled back and come down and been pretty quiet. But I think we're setting up for the next crypto bull run. And I think one of the catalysts for that crypto bull run could be rumors or potentially actionable news heating up about some of these huge tech companies moving into the space. Anyway, this is HyperChange. That's Moonshot Monday. Would love to know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Square is going to leverage the Lightning Network and Bitcoin to get into crypto? Um, if so, how are they going to do it? I'm not a software engineer. I'm not an expert in crypto. So I love, you know, comment, feedback. This is a discussion. You know, please leave it below. Um, if you like the show HyperChange, definitely check out our Patreon page and consider supporting there. Huge shout out to all of our current Patreon producers. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.